同学们。Okay, we're going to look at how to reduce a ratio in the form 1 to n or n to 1. And this is useful for us when we want to work through a ratio problem. It makes it more simple for us and we're able to follow through easier. Now, what we need to do is get the side. So we've got n to 1 here. We want to get this side to 1 in the ratio that they've given us. Now, this is when we can write ratios as fractions, okay? So, we'll write 5 to 7, and then we'll write n to 1 underneath. We've got our colons there, and we know that 5 to 7 has to be in the form n to 1. So, we already know what we want on the right side. We want a 1. To get 7 to 1, we divide it by itself. 7 divided by 7 will give us 1. A number divided by itself gives us 1. So, now we've done this to the right side, we do it to the left side, okay? 5 divided by 7, we divide it by 7. So, we've done the same to both sides, okay? So, let's do that here. 5 divided by 7. 7 into 5 does not go, okay? So we'll put a 0 here and we'll say 7 into 50. Well, if we know our squares, we'll know that 7 7s are 49. So we'll put a 7 there because 7 7s are 49, okay? But we've got one left over, so we'll put a 0 down and put our 1 there. 7 into 10 goes 1. And that will leave us 3. And then 7 into 30 goes 4. And that will leave us 2. And so it goes on. I'm going to round up at something called two decimal places. Round, round off, rather. And that means that I'm going to leave two things after the decimal in this instance. The question doesn't stipulate, but two decimal places is a good place to leave it. So the 4 in the third decimal place is lower than 5, so I will round off to 0 0.71. So my new ratio in the form n to 1 is 0 0.71 to 1. We can use decimals when we're re reducing down to n to 1. Let's look at the next one. Reduce the ratio 4 to 6 to n to 1 to n. So 4 to 6, we want 1 to n. The 1 is now on the left-hand side. That means we know the answer is going to be 1 on the left. But we don't know this, the n standing for any number, which we've got to find out. So we will divide our 4 by 4 because we know that a number divided by itself gives us 1. And then we will use the same division on the opposite side, 6 divided by 4. So let's go 6 divided by 4. 4s into 6 is 1. And then we have 2 left over, so we put the 2 there. 4 into 20 is 5. So it's nice, simple, no rounding off or rounding up. We've got a final answer. So we now know that in this case, it will be 1 to 1.5. Okay, thank you for watching.